Hey guys, welcome. If you've just purchased yourself a Firmzilla, here's a quick tutorial, not brilliant, but it'll help, on putting a level strip on the side of the actual fermenter. That thing there. So stick around. Uh, it's only a quick one, just to let you know how to do it. These little strips, they're, um, they're easy to do, but nobody online tells you how to do it. So I'm going to try and hopefully get it right for you. Uh, there is a little line that says, a line with seam. So the seam, this is the bottom of the strip, is on the bottom of the fermenter. You can see there, there's a line that goes around here. That's a seam. So I'll give you a close up. I'll give you a good close up, a bit of light on this side. So see the seam around here? I'll just kind of point the seam out here. That's a little seam there. So this little line here, that little red line, lines up with that seam. And then you just run the tape up and stick her on. So I'll show you how that's done. So we start with removing the backing panel just on the bottom or the base of the strip. So we just Peel that back. Now this is probably better done when this is detached, but I'm going to do it while it's attached. There's a, you can't really tell, but there's a lip just there that actually peels away and helps you peel it away easy. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing, but I'm going to whack that there. So we'll turn that so you can see a bit more without light. I'll get on the get out of your way hopefully, and we'll see how we go. Okay, so I'll peel that back like this, run, line that up loosely. Because I like this measuring gauge, it helps me determine how much fluid I have in my, my fermenter. And, oh, can't do it there. Just realise it's writing here. So I've got to tilt that, turn it, and try again in a different spot. The last time I did it on my old fermentosaurus, I did it wrong, and it was in the wrong spot for a long time until I moved it. That's why it looks so dirty. So this one, though, I'll do right. So hopefully you can see that. I've lined the seam with the red line, and now I can just run the strip straight up vertically, which will be vertically when the unit's up, right? I'll just try and do it neatly. So we have our proper measurements when we brew. So I'll show you on this camera. That's our, that's our measuring strip. Now apparently it's, it's only a guide. Um, it's not going to be... Your little red lines on that seam there, nice and neatly placed on that seam. And then we run it straight up vertically. So we now have the measurements on how far or how deep how fluid is. So I've also got a, a temperature gauge, which will be give you an idea on how good how how, how well it's running in temperature. Um, we can place this anywhere we like. If we've got to think about this, let's say I play the valve. This is our valve here. It's always going to be probably in the front where I want to be. So I would say, looking at this is pretty tight. So I will put the thermostat for my. Uh, Temperature gauge opposite the um, the levels. So we'll just slide that onto there, and now I've got my temperature gauge placed neatly, and we now have a fermenter that's all set up, ready to go. Well, I hope that helped. Keep brewing, and uh, hopefully you got something out of it. Cheers.